guys, my name is Megan and today I am going to be teaching you how to trim your hedgehog's nails. I'm also going to be telling you what to do if you accidentally cut your hedgehog's nails too short. Trimming your hedgehog's nails can be very stressful on them and you. I hate trimming my hedgehog's nails. Um, I'm always afraid that I will either cut my hedgehog or accidentally trim my hedgehog's nails too short. But you know, it's something that you gotta do, so we have no choice. I would say that you should trim your hedgehog's nails about maybe once a month. I should really do it more often, but I'm always too afraid to do it, so that's why I don't do it very much. So now I'm going to tell you what you need to trim your hedgehog's nails. So of course we're going to be needing a nail clipper. I just use a human nail clipper. You can also use a clipper for small pets. That would probably be a lot better actually. But I don't have one of those so I just use a human one. It's been working fine for me for a year and a half. So yeah, that's what I use. And you're probably also gonna need some treats to make your hedgehog happy again after you're done. I have some mealworms for Bailey. And anyway, let's get started. I'm gonna get Bailey out, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So as you can see, I got Mr. Bailey out. And now you can do this three ways. Well, these are the three ways that I know of. There are probably way more ways to do this. You can put them out on your bed or on the coffee table and trim the nails. You can put them against your chest like this, or you can put them in the sink and do it while they are taking their bath. I like to lay them on my bed or the coffee table. Just try each way and see which way works best for you and your hedgehog. Okay, so now I'm going to trim his nails. I'm sorry if you guys can't see this very well. I, oh my God, Bailey, what are you doing? I can't find my tripod. Okay, Bailey, no, you gotta stay still, guy. Okay? And this is probably one of the main problems you're gonna have. Your hedgehog's gonna try to run away like mine is. Okay, Bailey, okay, okay, okay. You just want to grab one of their little paws and do a little clip. It's not so bad, is it, Bailey? All right, so let me get a little closer so you guys can maybe see this. I don't know. Now, there is a certain point where you cannot cut up to if, because that would be too short and your hedgehog might start to bleed. I'm gonna show a diagram now um, so you know like where to cut up to because it's really hard to explain this without showing you guys. So I'm sure you have a good idea now of what to do when you clip your hedgehog's nails. Um, I'm just gonna stop right now right now and do it later because it's best to do this at a time when your hedgehog doesn't really want to play because it's much harder to clip their nails when they're running around like for some reason Bailey is more active when I take him out during the day than he is at night I don't know why even though they're nocturnal he does this so I usually trim his nails at night and it is about two o'clock afternoon right now so I'm gonna finish finish this later today off camera if you're trimming your hedgehog's nails and they are not having it they're just not working with you then just finish it in the next day it's all right you don't have to do it all at the one day it's probably more easier for them if you maybe you do like 
the front paws one day and then the back paws another day. You can do it that way if your hedgehog is really not having it. Now I am going to be talking about what you can do if you cut your hedgehog's nails too short on accident. Where are you going? Twice I have cut Bailey's um, nails too short and had made him bleed. It is very, very horrible. You're gonna feel so, so bad about it. But if your hedgehog doesn't seem to be in any pain, then really, there's really no need to worry about it. Just follow what I'm about to tell you and they'll be just fine. So when you accidentally cut your hedgehog's nails too short, what do you wanna do? You wanna get a bowl, you wanna get um, some flour, and you want to put the flour into a bowl and stick your hedgehog into the bowl. This way, the flour will kind of like clog up the bleeding or something. I don't really know how to describe it. Basically, it will stop your hedgehog's nail from bleeding. I did this before when my hedgehog's nail was bleeding and it worked just fine. I found it on the internet and he eventually stopped bleeding. If your hedgehog starts eating the flour, don't worry, Bailey did the same exact thing. He had flour all over his little nose afterwards. It was so cute. Don't worry about it. Um, it's not gonna kill them. Just make sure they don't eat like a ton of it. So after you do the flour thing that I told you, put your hedgehog back into his cage because if your hedgehog is out of his cage and running around and doing stuff, his heart rate is going to come up and he's just gonna bleed even more. Please make sure your hedgehog does not bleed too much because hedgehogs are really small animals. So if they lose a ton of blood, that's not good because you kinda need blood to live. So that was the video. I really hoped you guys enjoyed it and I really hoped it was helpful. If you did like it, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more adorable little hedgehogs. Anyway, thanks for watching. Goodbye.